MailChimp and Shopify, two giants in their spaces, MailChimp for CRM and email marketing and Shopify for e-commerce. They are the leading names and I'm not surprised if you chose these two for your own business. However, actually integrating them for a few years, it was not possible. You needed a third party tool to integrate them, but now it's possible again. I'm really happy for that. Let's jump into the tutorial and let's connect MailChimp and Shopify. All right, so as you can see, I just registered a fresh new MailChimp account and I have this test store, which is used by my agency, but basically this could be a new Shopify store as well. First and foremost, we want to integrate the tools and um, here you can manage your integrations. If you go here, here you can discover new ones. So yeah, I will look for Shopify and actually you should pick Shopify plus five, but the integration is similar. Now I will pick Shopify. So you should go here and yeah, this is what we look for. So let's get started. And here I should choose the store that uh, I want to connect. So Budai Media Store. And now let's install MailChimp. So this takes me to the page of Shopify and simply click install application. This may take a few seconds but let's connect Budai Media to MailChimp and I need to log in. Yeah, you can all of these if you want. You can read all of these. Now I will allow the um, application to connect to Shopify and voila. So now MailChimp and Shopify are connected, but we also have to sync them and sync the lists, the audiences. So what this means now, the two software tools, they are connected, but basically we want to get the subscriber list uh, from Shopify to get into MailChimp. See who are customers, who are not, who are subscribers, maybe who are not subscribers. So you can do this here. And once it happens, you can sync them, the two tools. So basically uh, linked audience, um, that is only one if uh, you have a free MailChimp account. Now I just paid for this account so I can create new audiences and I can create tags as well. Now I will create a new audience. So for example, I want to create a Shopify customer or let's say Shopify subscriber audience. You can define the default from email address. Usually this should be with your uh, company's name from name. It could be you know a real uh, person um, ideally it should be remind people how they signed up to your audience you are receiving this email because you subscribe to Budai Media's newsletter company and organization Budai Media and ideally you should add your address here as well if you want you can add a phone number so form settings enable double opt-in enable GDPR fields um, yeah basically Basically, if we create an opt-in form later on, you can enable double opt-in and a GDPR field. So I would advise both of these to be used in Europe. GDPR is only in Europe and in the UK and double opt-in is a best practice in Europe. I uh, wouldn't use this. Um, there are ways to use single opt-in in Europe as well. And in North America, Australia, we use a uh, single opt-in because that gives us the fastest growth for the email list. And later on, we can uh, clean it anyway. So now I won't enable any of these and let's save this. So I just created an audience and uh, I will have two audiences in my MailChimp. So here you can see the two audiences. And if I go back, I should see both of them in Shopify. I will uh, update this now. So here you are, Shopify subscriber audience. So I can pick this one. Contact type. So basically Shopify wants to know who should go to this list, the subscribers or the non-subscribers as well. So these are the people who interacted with your store. Maybe they are customers, but uh, they haven't opted in to receive your emails. So if you want, you can check those. If not, you don't check them. I actually now I uh, I won't check these people. And now sync uh, tags as well. And here you can sync all tags as well. So what tags are and what tagging means. So basically you can add 
tags to your uh, contacts and some of them comes from Shopify but you can manually add them in MailChimp as well or, or actually even from other software tools that integrate with Shopify and MailChimp but the point is these tags help you see uh, different uh, char characteristics different properties of people who is a customer who opted in and uh, you can add manual ones like who visited a certain page on my uh, on my website or who or who put uh, products into their cart so all of that now i will uh, sync all text and let's click sync now okay so you are on your way now the two tools are uh, synced and uh, as it says most syncs takes less than a few hours so it depends usually on the size of your store you know now i have only four contacts so it's probably immediate but if you have a few hundreds few thousands it will take maybe an hour if you have a 100k list then a few hours so it really depends uh, but all the sync stats are here uh, promo codes are still syncing as you can see and uh, we can continue to MailChimp so now it's connected with Shopify and if anyone signs up on Shopify it directly comes into my MailChimp audience as well with the right tags actually so once you have this uh, sync then uh, you can set up your uh, first automations your first pop-ups you can create branding kit I would go to pop-ups next and you can create a pop-up form that you can install on your website but that's the topic for another video and I want to show you one more thing in MailChimp so tagging as uh, I showed you there are two audiences here now and uh, this one has uh, three contacts so I can go to manage context and uh, view all of those uh, three contacts and I can add tag to them uh, manually so I should go to tags and I need to create a new tag so um, test for let's say YouTube tutorial I'm just making this up I can add one more tag uh, test number two and I go back to all contacts and I can tag certain subscribers with one or more tags if I want yeah I just added two tags to two people so this is how it works and when I want to send emails in the future and segment them or send different automations I can uh, use my tags actually and now I did this manually but actually you can make this automatic and uh, this is automatic between Shopify and MailChimp so for example in the future I will see who is a customer because Shopify tags those people and sends this information with the contact info together to MailChimp and I will see those here so this is how tagging works in a MailChimp audiences so this is how you can set up Shopify and MailChimp integration unfortunately for a while uh, for a few years it was impossible because uh, the two companies they had some uh, arguments as far as I know but now it's possible again super easy to do and I hope you could learn this from this video hey Budai Nation I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure that you go down and you subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you get updated of my newest videos also in the description I will put a free guide of our top 100 highest converting emails ever that you can download for free and finally before I leave I will give you one more thumbnail check out that video hope I see you soon on this channel